नाउ वी हैव आर डी थर्टी टू बोर्ड विच इज सेम एज आर डी नो फॉर्म फैक्टर बट दिस इज पावर्ड बाय वेरी पावरफुल एस बी थर्टी टू एस थ्री रूम वन मॉड्यूल देन देर इज ऑल्सो बजर ऑन बोर्ड फॉर ऑडियो अलर्ट यू चिल यू कैन एड फॉर योर प्रोजेक्ट एंड देर इज अ टी एफ कार्ड सपोर्ट सो विच कैन बी यूजफुल फॉर डेटा लॉगिंग पर्पज एंड देन यू हैव टाइप सी फॉर प्रोग्रामिंग एज वेल एज पावरिंग दिस कंप्लीट बोर्ड प्लस देर इज रीसेट एंड बोर्ड बटन अवेलेबल सो नाउ यू कैन सी वी आर ऑन एच बी कॉम्पोनेंट शॉपिंग साइट सो ऑलरेडी आर डी थर्टी टू वेब पेज इज ओपन सो वंस यू विजिट टू द डाउन साइड यू कैन सी डिटेल्स ऑफ बोर्ड आर अवेलेबल बट जस्ट विजिट डाउन साइड where you will find resources link so you have to link software github and hardware github github so in hardware github you can find various design files related to this particular board so schematic and then uh, all the top and bottom views plus 3d files so which can be used to create your case for your project so packaging that can be done so right now we are interested in this software github so you can click on this particular link and visit so when you visit on this particular link github so just scroll down so this section tells you about the getting started so you can see various details are available again here then which is very important interfacing details like hardware how they are connected to particular gpios of this particular esp32 which is used on board so you can see tf card interfacing pins plus there is buzzer is connected on particular gpio a 40 pin so the next section which uh, tells you about how you can configure and set up your environment for programming so in this case you first have to download arduino id from official site so you can use other version but for testing we have used 1.8.19 version and then next step it says that you need to add esp32 board to your arduino ide once you downloaded and then installed into your setup so you need to add esp32 board so for that you have just have to copy this link and then you have to paste in preference section you can see so if you copy and paste then you just have to visit tool manager tool then board manager so there you just have to click on okay so now just type esp so you see various options are available so you have to install this particular board means this option you have to use i have already ins installed this one so i can see there is only update option in case of your if your if you have not installed so you will get option to install this one so that detail is available already on this particular link github link so once you have done with this setup so now you can see i have already selected but you will see ESP32 S3 dev module which you have to select and then you have to select com port so right now you can see there is no port available once we connect so we will okay so now if you again click on this tool you will see there is a com port so in your case it might be different but make sure that you selected right board and then com port if it is selected second thing what you have to do once everything is done so now in the next step you can see test your code so for this you just have to try out various example codes which are provided so what you can do you just have to download this particular github so when you click on this it will download complete folder so as you can see already i have downloaded this folder every file is available so now just click it on this example folder and so buzzer demo already open we'll try this one and you see there is already one code is running led blink 
which you can see after every interval there is on and off of the LED. Now try to upload this code. So before that, make sure that you have selected the board and COM code. Then just click on this upload button. So before uploading, it will try to compile. If there is error, it will give you. Otherwise, if there is no error, it will straightforward upload. And for this board, you don't need to press the boot button. It will automatically start uploading. So that is the beauty of this particular board. So you see, uploading started. So you can see, now buzzer is started sounding after every interval and you can change beep sound to various nodes which is provided in github so you can try different nodes so that's it now in next step we'll see how we can use various rd shields which are provided so you will try to use various examples for different rd shields in the next section we'll go through it so now I have for demo these two RD shields. So let's try one of it. So just open this RD32 and RFID shield code. So till then we can connect this onto this particular RD. Okay, so now this is snap and connect this cable. So as you can see, our code is open right now. So what this code does, it is while when we, when we scan some card, so it will switch on that relay. And then again, we, when we scan, then it will switch off the relay. So let's upload this code. Make sure that you have selected board properly. And even you can modify your code as per your requirement. So uploading started. So now it is done. You can open serial monitor to check the status. So now you can see, okay, so any card you can use, but you can also modify your code to restrict so for a particular card. So that's it. And if, similarly, you can try various RD shields. So there are four shields available right now on the shopping site. So we, you can buy and try out that. So you can say display and then there are two other relay and UHF. So try any of the examples which you are interested and experiment and happy hacking.